of course will be x-rated so if there are any children in the room I advise you to either plug in headphones or take them out of the room. There was a passionate fun-loving maidservant who had taught a donkey to perform the services of a man. O oh my soul and O oh light of my eyes you saw the cock and he let a horse penetrate him. You know, one uh, good brother who I consulted said that this is a must. The ass was becoming lean and his mistress remained helpless. Half finished and angry, its penis still moving. The donkey's two eyes towards the door expecting you. Had the whole thing entered, it would have destroyed an intestine. The donkey has been perfectly trained and instructed. The table is laid and the lamp is lighted. I have secured privacy. I will shout in thanksgiving. I had intercourse with the donkey and perished shamefully. The maid came back late and lamented crying. Why is the ass becoming so lean? ecstatic pleasure her vagina was singing like a nightingale she was impatient for the flame of passion having reached the heights of excitement it was no wonder she was feeling dizzy so you've kind of got an idea of obviously we just want the viewers to get the point so we'll, con we'll continue and she raised her legs and the donkey penetrated her his penis set her on fire to fit on the donkey's penis to prevent him going in too far, the donkey politely penetrated her up to his testicles. The donkey's member burst her liver and tore apart her intestines. That our religion and beliefs revolve or relate to copulation and bestiality. And as we know, some people actually do this. See, they, they have no limits to their immoral lifestyles where they actually engage in intercourse with donkeys. Thank you for joining me, dear brothers and sisters. I'll see you next time. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa abdul farajahum wa ala ala ala